cigar boxes. They're one of those things that are seen but unseen. Containers for something else, but when you look closer, full of detail and beauty. <laughs> but even so, they tend to end up as catch-all holders for junk, found in almost every home. But every once in a while, somebody looks at that box, and maybe even the junk inside, and hears music. My name is Glenn Henderson, and I build cigar box guitars. It started one day when I was uh, surfing around the internet, and I saw a cigar box guitar. I thought, that's kind of a unique instrument. Uh, I do have some woodworking skills, and I happen to have a cigar box that I had uh, picked up in the Dominican Republic years before. So I figured, well, if somebody can build one of those, I can probably build one of those. I made my first one, and uh, it actually worked really, really well. It's like anything else. Once the bug bites you, you're, you're part of it. I wanted to, to learn the history of them, and it's, it's a really, really interesting history. It originated in, in the 1840s. People that didn't have a lot of money couldn't afford their own instruments, so they would typically get a, a cigar box, maybe an old broom handle, and a couple of wires from an old screen door, and they would make these instruments. They, they would call them uh, diddly bows, or, or uh, two-string uh, guitars, or three-string guitars, and they, that's how they would make music around their home. I make them either fretted uh, with frets or, or non-fretted, so it's just basic slide guitar. Uh, I make them in either acoustic, but generally most people like the electric ones. I just can't believe that this was just a cigar box. It feels like I'm just playing a guitar, honestly, so. They're just amazing pieces of art as well. And that's maybe what the difference between these and a lot of guitars are, is you know, if you see a lot of guitars there, I mean, they're all art, but they're, they're very kind of standard looking over the years. These just really stand out. Like, when do you ever see anything like this, right? In a music store, you just don't, right? So. They're, they're art and they're musical instruments together in one. I, so, I know sometimes Glenn will build one for people just to hang on the wall. They don't even make them playable, just they want one to, for a decoration. It's a, a unique thing, you know, that uh, a lot of the times artistic people are imprecise, <laughs> you know. Then they don't always look at it scientifically or mathematically. Glenn's got both, you know. Glenn can be an artist, Glenn can be an engineer, um, so he can put that precision into his art. Well, I think it's a little bit of trial and error, and I would like to think that there's some talent involved. I can take my three passions. I can take woodworking, I can take uh, music, and I can take an artistic twist on things, and I can combine them all together to get something uh, that, that gives somebody an instrument that they can use afterwards. You know, it, the, the, the cigar boxes are beautiful. They got a resonance to them. It was never what they were intended for, but uh, you know, you just put all the parts together and, and it becomes a beautiful thing. It becomes so much more than the sum of its parts, you know? I try not to measure time when it comes to these. This is not something that I would uh, ever want to charge by the hour for because it would just take all the fun out of it for me.